This letter, written by an inmate inside the notorious Alcatraz prison, is full of longing. The incarcerated author misses his beloved son. In that letter, he refers to my dad as dearest son of my heart. Over and over again, uh, he tells him how much he loves him and how much he misses him. And when they're reunited, they'll never be apart again. Uh, it reads almost like poetry. The letter was penned by Al Capone, perhaps the most infamous American gangster of the 20th century. It's part of an auction of his personal effects that his granddaughter, 77-year-old Diane Capone, hopes will present the convicted mobster's other side, that of a family man. These are not the words or the, the ideas of a man who is uh, a ruthless uh, gangster. These are the, man, the words of a loving father. This picture shows Papa, as he was known to them, relishing his freedom with his family after serving seven and a half years on Alcatraz. Papa is holding my youngest sister, and my older sister, Ronnie, is in front, and I'm right next to her. I was the second oldest. And uh, this picture was the last one that was taken before he passed away. He died a month later. The picture is among 174 items belonging to the Capone family that goes up for auction in Sacramento, California on Friday. Brian Witherell is the consignment director for Witherell's Auction House. The items that generate the most interest are the ones that you think of synonymous with a figure, a gangster figure like Al Capone, his guns and his fancy flamboyant jewelry. But Diane Capone hopes the family photos and personal effects will reveal the human side of her grandfather instead of the ruthless violence that plagued Chicago in the 1920s, for which he has become infamous.